Hi everyone, I'm Adrienne and I'm ShoeTube Girl. Today we're gonna to be talking about Kobe 8s. I was able to pick up this colorway from one of my husband's old coworkers and I was able to get it for only $30, so I am super excited about this colorway. This is, again, the Kobe 8 and it is snake skin. I don't really know what the colorway is called because it didn't come with a box or anything, but let's let's go ahead and dig into this shoe. Starting with the main part of the shoe, it is just snake skin. It's mostly gray and then the Nike swoosh is purple. The shoelaces are purple as well and then the tongue is a plastic purple tongue with a Kobe infrared emblem right on the front surrounded by snake skin again. The sole is gray and then when you move around the front it has a Kobe emblem on it again right on the outside edge and then the upper sole is purple with infrared speckles on it. Moving to the back it has the Kobe signature on the heel cap which is red and then it has another Kobe emblem right on the back that's very large and covered up slightly by the heel cap. It's infrared. Moving to the inside of the shoe, it has a very hard plastic black shank. The traction is zigzag. And then right on the heel, it has a Kobe emblem in infrared again. The insoles are mint green and they say be that one. They're pretty thick, so it looks like they're actually made of Lunar, the Lunar insole. These are kids shoes, so for them to have the lunar insole is a pretty big deal. That means they're gonna be pretty comfortable for children or women who wear kids shoes. These shoes are pretty comfortable, except that the tongue, since it is plastic, does cut into your ankle. At least it cuts into my ankle when I wear it, so I don't like to wear it in a place where I'm gonna be walking a lot, just because of the tongue. If you get it adjusted in the right way, then it won't cut into your ankle, but most of the time it does cut into my ankle, so it's not that comfortable to wear for a long time. However, if I do wear it with jeans, it does seem to help just because I can put the tongue over the jeans a little bit to avoid the tongue cutting into my ankle. The tongue does look really cool though, so I can't be too mad at it because it does look cool, but it does kind of hurt to wear the shoes, but beauty is pain. So let's go see what these look like on feet. Oh, again, I really like to let the shoe do the talking. So for something like this, I would just wear it in maybe what I'm wearing today in all black, just so everyone would notice my shoes rather than my outfit. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.